Hello everyone, we are here to talk about backing up and restoring files on our computer. So let's get started here in Windows 10. I'm going to right click on my start button and we're heading over to settings. Now when we get inside of settings, we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on update and security. So where the important stuff is, including backing up your files. So instead of update and security, right in here, we're going to click on this button called backup. And when we click on backup, we can watch the right side of our screen propagate. And look at that, backup using file history. Now file history is a really cool tool here inside of Windows 10. It allows us to back up our files to another drive. Keyword, another drive. What that means is we're not gonna back up our files inside of our C drive to another folder in our C drive. We're gonna back up our files from one hard disk to another completely different hard disk or from our hard disk to a USB flash drive. Or we can even use file history to back up from our hard disk to a network location. We can even do cloud storage. It is cool. Now let's get started. I'm using a USB flash drive. It's here in my file explorer. It is called USB drive E and it is empty. I've got like 7.3 gigs of unusable space here. So we're gonna use this USB thumb drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add a drive. File history is gonna scan my machine going to see that 7.3 gig USB thumb drive. So I'll select it. And all of a sudden, it looks like you're done. It says it's on. You're like, it's blue. I like it. Well, we got to do some more. Let's go ahead and click on more options. Inside of more options, we can see the current size of our backup is zero bytes. There's nothing there. There's no backup. We already see here, your data is not yet backed up. Thank you. The total size of my drive being 7.3 gigs. Now I can just go ahead and click backup now and call it a day, but let's review some of the important settings inside of the screen. For example, how often should my files be backed up? The default is every hour. In this dropdown, I can change it to once a day, every 12 hours, even down to 10 minutes. I'll leave it at the default of every hour. And then how often should I keep each hourly backup? By default, it is set to forever. What this means is when a backup occurs, we store it forever. One hour later, when another backup occurs, we store that one also. Our backups are not replacing each other. Every hour, a new backup is taken and stored on that drive you select. Keep that in mind, especially when you choose the size of the drive you're using for backup. So what are the files being backed up? Well, by default, we can see the list of them my saved games folder, a downloads folder, favorites, contacts. We can just scroll through the whole thing. Cisco Packet Tracer is there, documents, camera, videos. Wow, that's a lot. Now, if I wanted to get rid of one of these from being backed up, all I need to do is click on, for example, the saved games folder, and I will click on remove. I'm not concerned about having that backed up every hour. The list repopulates at the bottom, and now we can see my current folders being backed up. Now I know there's items in my downloads folder I want to keep, but also I know there's items in the downloads folder I don't want backed up. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm going to use another option, which is exclude these folders. So I'm going to click to add a folder that I want to exclude from being part of the backup. I get my choice here and I'm going to go into my downloads folder and I'm going to select the directory Cisco videos with eight gigs on my flash drive that are available to populate backups, I don't want to include my Cisco videos. So I'll go ahead and click choose this folder. And now that folder of Cisco videos is going to be excluded from ever being backed up. I think we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to give this a try. My current flash drive right now, check it out. We didn't do any backups yet, but there's already a directory in it with 7.45 K. What that is, is going to be configuration information. This configuration that we're building here in these options, they're being saved. We're ready for the backup, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on backup now. And this time, my flash drive is gonna be having data written to it. And of course, in the future, every hour, forever, these backups will be dropped on my flash drive. So we're gonna pause and wait for this thing to complete the backup. With my backup finished, I have almost 500 megs of space used for the folders I specified. One of those folders, of course, being the downloads folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse to my downloads folder. Let's take a look at some of the stuff in here. I've got some files and graphics. 
And what if there's a, a lab file, like a final lab exam? Well, I can go ahead and take this final lab exam and I can delete it. And just click yes, not recycle bin, just permanently delete my Cisco 3 final lab. And it's gone. So now we talk about, well, how do I recover this file? How do I bring it back to my downloads folder? Well, what we can do is go back into our file history area. Now this is, of course, the advanced settings where we just were before, but what we can see at the bottom of our advanced settings is restore files from a current backup. When I click on that link, I'm gonna get a new window. And this new window is gonna say, hey, we see because of the flash drive I have plugged in that we can restore back to the day of April 29th, 5.15 p.m. I can go ahead and open up the downloads folder. Then inside of here, I'm able to go in and find that final lab. And with that final lab, I can click on it and I can click this big green restore to original location button. When I click it, that lab is still in the backup. It's stored there still, but a copy of that lab is now put back inside of my downloads folder and now it's here again. So we can use this file history to keep multiple backups synchronized across hourly times or times that we choose. Then we can call upon a specific date and time to restore a file from. Practice with file history, learn how to create your own backups on your system.